from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's the Cube, covering VTUG Winter Warmer 2018, presented by Silicon Angle. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's coverage of VTUG Winter Warmer 2018. In addition to being an analyst and a host of this program, I've also been a long time Patriot season ticket holder. Really excited to welcome to our program, Logan Mankins, number 70. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Yeah, so it, it's interesting. At this show, you know, we're talking tech. A bunch yeah. of the IT admins, they're people that you consider in the trenches. You, you know, spend a lot of time, you know, in there. Uh, you know, I, I, I wonder, you come to guys like Teddy Bruski, Ty Law, Lawyer Malloy is here today, yeah. making interceptions and things like that. Uh, sometimes get, you know, a little bit more coverage out there and they're a little bit more well known. Did you ever feel that you were faceless, you know, paying for the pats? Uh, no, those guys, uh, they made all the plays that got all the recognition, but the linemen, we always knew that without us, uh, the offense couldn't go, the team couldn't go, so. And most linemen, they don't want to be the face out there anyway. Me personally, I'd rather not be known, but it comes with the, with the job. Yeah, well, you know, seven-time pro bowler. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, was, I was looking back and there was this great video from Bill Belichick and he's like, you know, there's tough players in the NFL, but when I think of Logan Mankins, he's super tough uh, out there. Um, when you look at, you know, the, the game now, you know, Rob Gronkowski took massive yeah. hit in the AFC Championship game. You know, how does, how does toughness and, you know, injuries, how did you think about that? Did you think about that when you were playing versus, you know, now being out of the game? When I was playing, no, you don't really think about it. But uh, fortunately for me, I didn't have uh, hits like that to the head, those big concussion type hits. The stuff I always played with was just body stuff. And uh, there's always a difference between being hurt and injured. If you're hurt, you can still play. And if the injury's not too bad, you can still play. So it was just a fine line of figuring out what you could do and what you couldn't. Yeah. Um Patriots have had a phenomenal run. I mean, you, you, you played for, you know, a great team, Bill Belichick, yep. Tom Brady, throughout them all. Um, give us a little perspective, somebody that played for the team for a while, you know, how did you work through the changes, and, but yet there was some consistency uh, around the core? Yeah, the, that's the main thing, the core, and uh, they've had an unbelievable run. I don't know what's Bill been there, 18 years or something, and it's been unbelievable to see what those guys have accomplished, and it all starts at the top. You have a good owner and the best coach ever and the best quarterback ever. So as long as you get the right guys that buy into that system and follow those two guys, you're going to have a good team. Yeah. Uh, last year, Dan Brandt shared with us some great stories about Tom Brady, his hyper you know, competitive uh, type of guy. G give us a little color. What's it like you know, playing in front of you know, TB12? Oh, that's great. You know, uh, you know he's always prepared. You never have to worry about him. He's going to play great majority of the time and just the way he competes and works it rubs off on other guys and he's just so dependable and can make all the right uh, reads throws and he's a great guy to be around on top of that so he's the ultimate teammate and ultimate competitor and that's uh, why he's had so much success. Yeah, uh, you, you said that you didn't take. You, you, at least you, you played through some injuries. You you had some, some some. You played when you were hurt. And yeah, we know you had some. You know, rough injuries. Uh, yeah. You know, during your career, but uh, concussions weren't a concern. Is it something that you look back now, or you know, look at the game today and all the things about CTE and concussions? Is that? Oh you know, yeah. Uh, the more you learn about it, the more uh, you you worry about it because you're aware of it now. I think when I started playing football, no one talked about it. There was no worries about it and towards the end of my career it really started coming out and it, more comes out about it every year so of course you worry about it you hope uh, you're one of the guys that it's not going to affect but there are guys that it's really affecting in bad ways so uh, at this stage of my life it's too late to go back so it's uh, We'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, uh, would, would you recommend you know, young, young, young people going into football, knowing what you know now? Uh, I think so, There's a, it's a lot safer now. You're not taking those big, well, every once in a while, guys are just gonna take one you just saw robbed the other day, but for the most part, they're trying to prevent that. And the uh, techniques that they're teaching now with the blocking and the tackling to not use your head as much. So it's, uh, it's a lot safer and 
look, at the end of the day, it's up to uh, whoever's making that decision to play. And if they want to play, then they have the right to play. Yeah. So, the, you know, we're, we're obviously everybody locally is super excited getting ready for another Super Bowl. How, how does the team stay focused? Uh, you know, two weeks leading up to it, there's a lot going on. Uh, you know, it's not New Orleans that, that they're going to. But, uh, yeah. you know, how does the team stay focused, uh, you know, on their job? Well, this team with the Patriots, they've been through it so many times. And uh, they know what. They have a big job ahead of them, but they do a good job. When I was here and we went to Super Bowls, like all the tickets and the hotel rooms for family and all that, they do a great job of getting that out of the way the first two days and get that taken care of so you don't have to worry about that. And then it's on to the uh, the opponent that you're playing and you just focus in on that. And Bill has a, he's great at just, uh, he draws a line and it follows that line. So he'll have everyone in that line and everyone will be ready. There won't be any distractions and they'll be ready to go. Yeah. Uh, speaking of distractions, there, there's been you know, a lot of noise in the press lately. Is the, the relationships, everything like that. When you're in the locker room, I mean, does that hit your radar? Do you just focus and, you know, do your job? Uh, you know, how, how does that impact what's yeah, going on? Yeah, most, uh, most stories, they don't bother you. They got to find stuff to write about. But, uh, the last one, I guess, with those guys, the story coming out that they're feuding and this and that, uh, I don't know if they are or they're not, but uh, if they're not, I think that would that would upset me if they said I was feuding with someone that I wasn't that has been a, uh, a colleague and most likely a friend of yours for that long. Yeah, uh, well... Logan Mankins, really appreciate you joining. Patriots had some phenomenal guards. Uh, you know, Hannah in the Hall yeah. of Fame. Uh, you, you're definitely up there as one of you know the, the, the greatest guards in, in Patriots history. I appreciate really that. Really appreciate you joining me. All right, thank you. All right, so we, thanks again to the VTUG for bringing Logan Mankins. Love being here at the intersection, virtualization, technology, and the Patriots. I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching theCUBE.